Hi, this is Lily Bernard. I'm in my Los Angeles art studio with my End Wraith SOL Memorial Angel, which is part of the We Are Los Angeles installation going up in Grand Park, downtown Los Angeles, near Disney Concert Hall. And it's sponsored by the California Community Foundation. Here is a book containing dozens of images that I've spent like the last hundred hours researching and color correcting, resizing, printing, and cutting with an X-Acto knife. This is a rendering of the uh, front wings. And here is the rendering of the back wings. And there are gonna be lots of flowers. Uh, in my birth island of Cuba, the gladiolas. I'm gonna be a monkey and hold this with my feet. <laughs> Look, I can hold a, hold a book with my toes like a monkey. <laughs> and in Cuba, my birth island, the gladiolas are used in uh, protests because Gladiolus is uh, Latin for sword. And uh, goodness, here is our End Rape SOL founder, LGBT artist, activist, Ivy Bottini, and Caroline Heldman, her co-chair. Caroline is a professor, published author, uh, social, political commentary, and political scientist. And here is uh, a picture of some members in our first End Rape SOL meeting, which was in July 2015. My son, Raphael Ferguson, was 17 at the time when he went to this first End Rape SOL public meeting, and he came up with the uh, title and hashtag of our group, End Rape SOL. He coined it. And here is Camilla Willingham. And Camilla wrote the actual bill, SB 813, when she was employed at the California Women Law Center. She is a graduate of Harvard Law School, and you can see her talk about her rape on the CNN documentary, Hunting Ground. And here are some images of a rally that we staged in Hollywood on Cosby's star of the Walk of Fame. I poured a libation on his star, beckoning him to confess his sins for the sake of his soul. If you see over here, I have um, Afro-religious Cuban iconography on the war paint that I painted on my face, symbolisms of the Orisha, El Egua, syncretized with the Catholic uh, Christ Christianity from Spain. And that's also in memory of my grandfather over there, Jose, Rodriguez Figueroa, who was a Mambi. The Mambises were the insurgent soldiers who fought uh, in Cuba's war of independence against Spain. He was born about 19 years before slavery ended in Cuba. His birth certificate says Pado Libre, which means free black man of mixed descent. And if you look at my artwork, there's lots of symbolism that pertains to the Orishas, uh, and including Oyayansa. She's the Orisha who grows a beard when she grows to goes to war, she controls tornadoes and her colors are the colors of the rainbow. So I have her here as well uh, in honor of Ivy Bottini, our LGBT activist founder of End Rape SOL. And over here uh, in the rally, a lot of people uh, spoke and we did performances where we tore up the statute of limitations and put them in a trash can. Spoken word artist, poet Tanya Ingram, who's also a rape survivor, gave a powerful performance. This is a petition that I uh, wrote for change.org and we got so many signatures, uh, more than 16,200 signatures on it. Here we had a meeting with Senator uh, Holly Mitchell, when uh, the senator that we were approaching, Senator Kanaleiva, was yet balking and not sure whether or not she wanted to uh, commit to our request to have her sponsor the bill. So when she heard wind of us meeting with Senator Holly uh, Mitchell, Senator Leiva uh, took on the bill and we're very grateful for her uh, carrying that bill for us. And here are some California poppies. You hear Nina Simone in the background singing the poppy song. I love Nina Simone. That's a painting I made and that's our California state flower, the golden poppy. <laughs> so there are images of our hearings. Uh, we uh, testified in uh, assembly and senate hearings and we got unanimous votes in favor of the bill in every single hearing that the, in which the bill was presented, bipartisan votes. There's Senator Connie Leiva and uh, Gloria Allred brought Casey, a Cosby survivor, to testify at the first Senate hearing. Uh, District Attorney Mike Ramos is his principal co-author. We have uh, Betsy Butler, the CEO of the California Women Law Center, where Camilla Willingham was working when Camilla uh, wrote the bill. And here we have Mike Gibson, another principal co-author. And here are the Cosby survivors who are on the forefront of the Endrafe SOL campaign. Uh, we 
lobby door-to-door uh, -to, -door to the senators and the legislators along with our NRAP SOL peers. And we are Lily Bernard, Victoria Valentino, Linda Kirkpatrick, Janice Baker Kinney, led by Caroline Heldman, who's also a rape survivor but not a Cosby survivor. And this is Andrea Constant. She is our role model, our Shiro Supreme. She is the Cosby survivor who is currently uh, standing trial against Bill Cosby for Bill Cosby having sexually assaulted and drugged her. Andrea, we are in our, you are in our prayers for peace and, and victory. And it became a sort of a, somewhat of a tradition to video chat with Andrea during our sojourns, during our caravans up to the state capitol in Sacramento. And here are some more pictures of our, of our um, hearings in Sacramento. And there's our good governor, Jerry Brown, doing the right thing and, and signing the bill. And in Sacramento uh, on September 6, 2016, we did a performance uh, where we, uh, a, a rally where like our rally in Hollywood, which we did in November 2015. And this one in September of 2016, our performance uh, involved clocks. Uh, symbolizing that justice knows no time limit. We also covered our mouth with tape, and again, I wore war paint. And here is Chelsea dressed as Le Lady Liberty, and she came up with the idea of the clock uh, performance. So NRAP SOL is made of many uh, rape survivors, such as Alexa Schwartz, who is with the National Council of Jewish Women, who hosts our meetings. and. Um, we're just all transforming our trauma into triumph for future survivors. <clears throat> this was a, uh, us at the assembly hearing. It was uh, emotional. We were crying at the, the emotional testimonies of the legislators, uh, how they were speaking about loved ones, family members who were raped and how that impacted their lives. Um, these are some more uh, rape survivors who are end rape SOL members and Meredith and here we have Norma who was raped as a child when she was 12 by her mother's best friend. The rape resulted in a son being born to her and despite the son and the DNA test confirming paternity, Norma was not able to uh, see any justice because of the statute of limitations in California. And so here is Linda White Deer who is another a Cosby survivor who testified in the uh, conference, the press conference recently in September in Sacramento. There are going to be lots of uh, Seba flowers. The Seba is a sacred tree in uh, Africa, Latin America. It's considered an Orisha. Who, uh, the Orisha is a deity, a Yoruba deity, and they believe to house the souls of the ancestors. My kids and I go all around um, LA looking for Seba trees and photographing them. They're going to be pink ribbons, and here are the Cosby survivors, some of us who are working on this campaign and lobbying. And a glory, attorney Gloria Allred with Casey at the Senate hearing. And Susie Q is another NRA Bessel member. As a child, she was raped multiple times by her teacher, her grade school teacher who impregnated her and took her to get abortions, Patricia Stoyer, another Cosby survivor who testified in the assembly. And other rape survivors who are Andre Bessel members, there's Norma again, and we have Geraldine and uh, Nadia Sutton. They're gonna be uh, yellow roses. <laughs> and there's Senator Leiva. There's Mike Ramos. So Mike Ramos is a district attorney from San Bernardino who spoke very passionately in, uh, in support of the bill, uh, empathetically towards um, all rape survivors and giving credit to the Cosby survivors for being the pioneers in this movement. And also uh, boasted about how San Bernardino has no untested rape kits. So he's a fantastic brother in our fight. And uh, here we are at the assembly hearing. And here are some of the legislators who spoke so passionately um, and who, uh, on, on behalf of the bill, on behalf of the Cosby survivors and on all rape survivors, uh, right here, Melissa is an assemblywoman, Melissa Melendez, and she spoke about how, uh, of course, people are going to remember rape because how could not one not remember such a traumatic uh, incident as rape? Uh, Senator Stone encouraged the other senators to let us speak as we needed because many of us Cosby survivors have waited over 20 years to testify and tell our stories. Um, Assemblyman James. Uh, his name is, sorry, Reginald Jones Sawyer testified in the assembly hearing about how when he was six or seven years old that he witnessed a rape and how the silencing of that and the trauma negatively impacted his life. He spoke about his sister having been raped. Um, 
And another incident, yellow ribbons. And, and uh, this is a, a Assemblyman Mike Gibson from South LA who spoke passionately at every single hearing that we attended. It's so important. We need more brothers like uh, Assemblyman Mike Gibson uh, defending rape survivors and women. And we have Amanda Demi's uh, wonderful New York Magazine cover that contains an image of about half of us Cosby survivors who have gone public, including me. There are many more than the 60 of us who've gone public, because I know four who won't go public, and it comes with great consequences, of course, going public. This is our most recent End Rape SOL meeting, where we were celebrating our victory and discussing our national campaign. The steering committee we now meet every week. Uh, and of course, the media. Uh, we are so thankful for the many uh, dozens of media outlets who've given us the platform to speak our voice and to let the public know about the necessity to abolish these antiquated rape laws. Without the media, none of this would have happened. I'm thankful to all the, the journalists, the producers, and, and uh, the reporters who have uh, fought with us uh, to tell uh, the story, the need. Thank you so much. And what else do we have? Lots of journal stories. And we have, um, let's see, so many pictures that I've cut. Oh, look at this. Here we have huh, the administrators of the end rape, uh, sorry, the administrators of the Facebook, we support the survivors of Bill Cosby uh, Facebook page. We, when we Cosby survivors go public in um, support of end rape SOL, we uh, receive so much vitriol from uh, adoring Cosby fans from rape apologists, from misogynists who take every opportunity to attack us online, um, even when speaking on behalf of, of, of the bill. And so uh, Brandy Betts, Melissa Weaver, and Denise McMahon have been phenomenal in supporting us and defending us against the trolls and doing research and providing a wonderful forum where we can uh, he, uh, learn about information that's happening. They also make great databases for us. And whew, that's basically it. <laughs> Now I have to take all those images and glue them onto this angel. Wish me the best, everybody. See you on November 12th, 2016, Saturday, 11 o'clock a.m. at Grand Park, Los Angeles downtown near Disney Concert Hall. Lily Bernard in my Los Angeles art studio, Miracle Mile area, signing out. With Nina Simone in the background singing poppies. Come on, Nina. <laughs> yeah, baby. Puppies, 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 puppies.